Hey guys, it's guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Direwolf Let's Play. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Basically, Minecraft is technically my comfort food. So, I've technically just been hopped into the server, just doing my own thing for a while. I'm never, don't really like recording it that much because it's not really like a straightforward sort of Let's Play walkthrough type of thing we got going on. But anyways, I have cleaned up a little bit of IE2 ones we were focusing on that. So you can see we don't have any of the pattern, the terminals that were originally here. Of course, I have to set up a charger here because I need to charge this thing somehow. And luckily the other one, the other one that is currently in use somewhere in the network, can't really use that one because it's underground and it's quite literally pulls this right down instead of just letting it charge. Which I'm surprised the crystal, the charged crystals are being charged properly. Because with this one, I'm surprised, yeah, I'm just a little bit surprised. But anyways, you can see we got this down here, just so you know, you this you can just come in here and just get some water if you want. We've got two water buckets in there, and you know. So you don't see any of that. This is a nice clean space that, unlike Shadow, who has a mess all over the place, we, we it's clean up here. Of course, I technically, I need to remake this down here so we can do each of the ores. I'm not sure if Emerald is... An ore we can do, but diamond we can't do it. I already double checked with that. But you can do ten iron, ten iron osmium. I feel like there's something else in there, gold and iron, obviously. Lead most likely, and the the uranium. But right now this is like the only setup he got going. I'm gonna need to understand what to do with this because I'm gonna need to reduplicate this basically. So so far all I understand is pressure, pressured reaction chamber gets watered separator because right now i'm not understanding these colors here because there is just all over the place but anyways i want you to understand how to make all of those and put them downstairs so we can focus on instead of me going to basically the other the input chest over there and swapping out the ores basically this is the different this is the opposite of what's going on over there that one pulls in stuff from the emi system so where the quarries are and all that this one Puts it back in, so this is technically making uh, I sent 10, 10 ingots and it's going back to the enemy. While the other one over there, you, know, you see that it's taking the ingots and the ore out and putting them into this little line we have going down here. So that's what that's doing right now. So, anyways, I have upgraded the uh, inscribers to advance. I also remade this over here so it's like hopefully balanced out so it can just duplicate it and go smoothly instead of me waiting here forever for all the processors also we found out about this saying i think it's working i'm not too sure yet but i believe it's working also you can see it's a little bit more cleaned up in this section here no more floating cables except for the ones that are needed of course like i said this was our sub network i put this one more in and it's a little bit more simpler now you see the storage there's a storage bush there's a storage bush going to this network right here and it's going to go to here all the way to our main system over there so that's that's good that's good so uh, have i explained this much i think i'm not sure if i explained this much though. two man subscribe inscriber uh do, 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 let's say cubes for now two man inscriber cubes so processors they get made double easily and distributed this is our our crafting auto crafting tables basically so molecular assembler and our patterns very nice, very nice, very nice. So realistically, I wanted this just to be for that molecular assembler, but we got one, two, then another network up here. This is our flux, flux crystal chamber that that it makes. So information plane throws up the redstone, the quartz, and the nether quartz. So both quartz charges charges the quartz. The quartz are charged right here. There is the charger down here we'll, we'll go explain that in a little bit it's literally the only thing that's actually on the ground that's functional i'm pretty sure anyways so we got two crafting units two one's like 3k and one's 256k i'm not sure if that was important to do because these are all just are fine with these so far of course our interface or basically all of our auto, auto mining gets delivered in so I'm pretty sure one's one's overworld, one's nether, and one's like dim other dimensional. This one mainly, I know this one's for our tree farm. I'm gonna have to explain later. So I moved all the drives back here that are fully functional. Of course, these have not filled up except for maybe this, because I am 
infinite water source and let's just at 420k now i don't i don't know how much that is is it giving you no did, did i mess it up i messed it up Four hundred and twelve buckets. Four hundred and twelve K buckets. Okay. So we've got our smelters here. We've got a crusher, a pulverizer, and a smelter. I'm not sure if the pulverizer is needed, but I think it is. We got ME interfaces and the trash can over here. Mainly this is just keep items stocked up. Pretty simple design. I do love that. Okay, and we moved all the terminals over here. I forgot to mention that. Also didn't did transfer all of the beginning drive into one of our main into the network now. And here is basically our map not ours. Is our, let me see. Do I have can I see if I can test this out? I cannot, sadly. But anyways, this is basically just a coal farmer mainly. Uh, coal auto miner. So like since I needed to feed these two infusers and the chemical machine for the the war is happening right there through this. I needed to mine all the coal. So before these were 32k coal items, they were just blocks and I needed this to be mined. So I had these here. So this is, I believe this is a nether quartz or yeah, nether quartz and deep sleep coral or as you saw from before, I'm not sure if that's on right now. I don't think it's on. But anyways, we get to over here, which I, I'm not sure if I want to fill this in today or what's the dealio, but we got the P2P tunnel. So every other P2P tunnel you see you could actually fully use uh, the 32 channels like this one, but I'm not sure if this is going to be used like crazily though. My, I, might, I might make it. I might make more because I'm like, I'm still tempted. Like, oh shoot. No. That'll be three because something like there's a limit like three can't be touching or three is the limit I'm not, I don't understand it. Basically, that's where I stand on that So if I put one up here Yeah So let's Actually, how much can I make? Can I make ten? I don't even think I have this up, set up yet Give me terminal. I think I've been meaning to set them up so I can play around here a little bit But anyways, other than that This is huge for me to use the full 32 bit Luckily, this turns all these channels into a 32 travel tunnel, basically, which is kind of crazy to understand. I literally had to redo this like six times to get everything fully attached, which was kind of annoying to be honest. Now we go into industrial four going. We have a tree farm set up that I think is currently mining, but obviously you can tell that this is the machine picking up the water. So we're using the quantum players to get items in and out but this is basically what makes latex latex makes our silicon or plastic and then this is just for upgrades and all that i'm not sure what else do i need right now we have a tree farm set up i'm not sure what else we'll need i probably would like to set up the wheat farms the sugar canes and all that just so we can enjoy that but anyways that's what it is and this i think the main goal for this one was the atomic alloy so this basically three infusers one enrichment chamber i'm not sure if i can make it so this can be filled from uh what would, what would you say because i know there's like how we have the ultimate crusher right here i'm not sure if we have the ult we do have the ultimate infuser but i'm not sure if it's like realistically gonna be this type or what's the dealio that's the issue I have with that so far, but I think we can do it at the same time. I think I can just redo these and get them upgraded. Actually, we might do the we might do that later just to upgrade them. So there's no hassle later on But in me network down here. I'm not sure if there's any expansions or anything I need to do I feel like I need to put the water one on a sub network like this so I can just stop mining but anyways just little extra to show you i've made basically a maintenance hatch down here so whenever i need to get down to something like right here i can just open up this and see what's the issue like right here basically this is this is fine for now it's not this is like this entry point is over here where the p2 p3 is that but i say oh, okay something scared me something was offline there but yeah so like right here 
one channel. This is carries one channel down. Well, two with this one because this is our eight access point. Well, two channels, four channels. But like for example, this is P2P, and we got fifteen, and this is getting fifteen channels getting carried through one channel on here from the ME network. I'm pretty sure sooner or later I'm gonna need to uh, have these colored so I can differentiate each wall or something. So they're all lines. So I know what some other people differentiate them, but right now this is just a main and satch. I don't mind having the cables looked out here, but it's pretty nice, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but anyways. Uh, what else was gonna mention here? All right, guys. I'm not sure how long I've not recorded. Of course, Shadow set that up. He, I think he has this video going on right now. But anyways, P farm. This is basically industrial foregoing. I'm pretty sure this had sludge or something that needed to empty. No, it looks like it doesn't. Pretty lucky me. But this one. Very right, good. Pretty good on all of this. See that instant man, instant right. Let's wait for these two to go away, then we gotta I gotta update you guys on mine colonies. Alright, boom. Oh, it's just opening in my face. But anyways, that, that's going on. I should really put that on some network in my brain so it doesn't it doesn't clog up the drive, but whatever at the moment. IE2 ME system. I'm probably gonna have to set that up as wirelessly so I can access it um on my little mine colonies. But I think I need to build a house out here first as my little base. So I think Shadow has put a teleporter down up down here as well. So anyways, before we were at preface going into this, all of these, most of these should be level three buildings now. Oh my God, those will take forever, dude. All I'm gonna say is like, we got a level three tavern, which realistically, I don't think this changed much uh, from level two, other than we got a few chairs down here, a little more designs. We got tavern rooms and a little, Move people out of, I believe. I believe. What's the jukebox? Oh, I'm playing some. We got new peeps every day in here. It's a lady nice Thursday apparently, but up here, I think this changed a little bit because it's not no longer an open uh, establishment up here. We got window closed windows now. Lucky us. I don't think anyone's up here. To be fair, I don't, I don't think we have that much of uh, things going on. But anyways. Private, no admittance. Basically, this is our lover room. I'm not sure why we have that in this, but we do. Gotta love that. So we got some vines here. A little skylight. Actually, it's pretty dope. I like the skylight. Good old tavern area. So next to the tavern place, we got our level three restaurant. Look, this looks like we got. It's interesting and nice to see this to be empty. Hello. The floating carpet, I guess, for these. Where's the chef, may I ask? Elliot. Okay, so Elliot F. Green. Is that... Elliot, what the heck, dude? What are you waiting on? Wait. What is it? Okay, so you two are cooks. So I need to start doing that, because it, do it does matter a bit. Speaking of, I think they're missing some things from here. Yeah, fishing rod, enforcer, yeah, we'll have to deal with that after this. But anyways. Level 3 Town Hall was the biggest upgrade. We also got the level 3 Builders as well, but my god, this was one of the biggest upgrades ever. Because I think we have an Auto Smelter in here. It's kind of wild. My bed is upstairs now. So we got an Auto Smelter. Of course, Kelp Farm would be nice. But what does this say? Community Bulletin. Help Wanted Bulletin Editor needed. Needed Dark Oak. As much as you have. See. Uh, trading 32 wheat for one emerald, huh? Help wanted scarecrow needed required. Now hiring. Now hiring. Now we are hiring. Now we'll start now. I'm not sure if these gets, if these actually get updated. Or these just play soldiers now. But yeah, this is one of the biggest ones, and this is the bank, right? Stone block in the stash for carrier. So up here. Basically. The rooms cannot sleep at this current time. All right, wild. Basically, I think this might be turned into farmlands. I would hope so, at least for the. Uh... Like, what else would this be? I would expect this to be farmland, or it's literally just dirt for tra tra training. From what I'm guessing. So we got this going on. So well, let's go up here because I feel like up here we're pointing out more differences. So like I said, most of these. Buildings are level three now, so we got uh, 
few residences on level three now. We got the Purser's Hut. Level three, we got the library. I think it's university at level three. The hospital at level three. It might be a library. The couriers at level three. The warehouse is at level three. The smeltery is at level three. And then right there, I think there's a. I don't know what to call it. The barracks. The one that helps pinpoint the raiders is right there. We've got a level three hut for the sheep. Then a uh, blacksmith at level three. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like the smeltery and the blacksmith are talking to each other, which I expected. It to talk, they talk to each other, but apparently not. Apparently, like, there's a whole different thing going on there. That's why I put them next to each other. Blacksmith melter, it makes sense, right? But I'm not sure who normally smells. Okay, no, she smells the ores, but I'm not sure what the blacksmith needs or if we need more, uh, more citizens out here because I'm not sure how big I can make this chunk. Of course, I can, I can would love it to take over this little quadrant to this little quadrant, like this little L that I'm missing from this bridge. A little bit, I can stop there. But I'm not sure what are the needed things for this place to have. So, level three mine. I think another level three builder over there if you can't see it. So, yep. I think the quarry is doing well. Let's go check on that. Of course, I haven't been in this area, so it's not loaded. But I'm pretty sure I need a player entity it needs to be here. It can't be chunk loaded, but I'm not too sure about that one. But this place needs farm, farms, I'm pretty sure and that's one of the things. So library, swine, so library, pig farm, cow farm, chicken farm, flower shop. Flower shop is one that we were looking forward to. Okay, so yeah. See the, the quarry has actually been going down pretty well. Other than every time I load in all the cobblestone that you see right there, all the cobblestone frames is just scattered about, which I think needs to be repaired. I'm not too sure, but anyways, this is basically gonna be like, I guess my little project for whenever I'm offline, because I don't really do much here. Like I said in the beginning, Minecraft's my comfort food, so I don't think there's much that you're gonna see uh, grid-wise. So this is a barracks. I uh, This is like the only level one building we have now. At the hospital, I think the what's the one you need potatoes and wheat, I'm pretty sure, right? Well, not right now, but I'm pretty sure you need potatoes, wheat, golden carrots, which I'm not sure how we're gonna get golden carrots. I might build another mine somewhere, but I think I want to extend it a little bit out here for, with barracks with a barracks tower. So this area is completely guarded. So, right now, technically, this is guarded. This little chunk is guarded, but I need this area to be guarded as well. So, we should have a barracks tower set up. It's in the stone for that, but that's a. I think that's all we I got to do right now. I'm not sure if we have anything else to do. I just wanted to catch you guys up. I'm not really sure if I have anything to do. If I'm gonna be, I'm feeling like this might be like one of my last episodes because I'm like I'm just enjoying playing the game. I'm not really gonna shove it down on your guys's throat i think we have where's the teleporter we might need to build my own home where is the teleporter right there let's get this of course uh shadow's been going to different um planets now so the, these are different planets i'm not sure which one i'm safe to go in i know there's at least one that i'm safe to go in without a spacesuit Kind of wild that that is a thing, but I need to understand how this... I'm just going to have to ask Shadow on how this is going, because I'm not sure if I need the brine here, because I would like to put this uh, on our in our basement, or our third basement, second basement, down here, so we can get the minerals always being... Always, like I said, instead of me alternating the ores or the materials. But anyways, I think that's all. I gotta share right now. Three. A little update. Is that gonna go before it? No? No, it's gonna because okay it is. See it should stay down there. Yeah, exactly. It should stay down there. I'm gonna have to swap that up swap that into a small one right now. Actually, let's do it right now. But anyways, I a little update on that. I'm not sure what else to do for you guys. I'm not sure like I said, it's probably just I'm probably not going to update anything.
for a while or make video episodes in a while because I think I'm just enjoying it a little much on my side of things. See, so I'm not sure what else to do with this. Like, well, this series to be honest, because all the mods I like, I'm already into and I enjoy it. But there's not much, there's nothing else other than me. Like I said, this is my comfort food. So I'm probably just going to be using, this is probably going to be in the background being blown out as much as I can. Shadow's going to do his own thing, actually dive into mods. I'm not that type of person to just dive into it, but I don't know, man. I don't know, this is a little update going on about it. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Thank you guys for watching, listening to what you guys do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.